Well, the migrant caravan from Honduras was headed for this country, but was stopped short in Mexico. It is now occupying the border city of Tijuana. Local residents in Tijuana are getting increasingly fed up about its presence. Hernan Lopez is a municipal delegate for downtown Tijuana. He recently said that the caravan leaders tricked people into traveling north with false, with false promises. He also said that caravan members would be better off returning to their home countries. Delegate Lopez joins us tonight. Mr. Lopez, thank you very much for coming on. Hi, good evening from Tijuana. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I'm looking at a picture of you with some kind of encampment behind you. Will you tell our viewers what we're looking at? Yes, uh, we're outside of a sports facility we call Unidad Benito Juarez. And this was like an emergency shelter for them. When they first got here, there were like 360 uh, migrants coming here. And they walked all the way to the border where the border meets the surf because they were going to try and cross through the sea through the beach or jump the fence. And when we stopped them there, we had to bring them over here because the neighbors from, from, that, from that part of town, it's called Playas de Tijuana, it's like Tijuana by the sea. Uh, they were getting mad and they, they even started throwing stones at each other. So we had them over here, like 360, but things got out of hand because it kept growing and growing. This is a federal issue. Yeah. This is not a municipal issue, but we were carrying the load, the financial load of, of keeping these uh, people with medicine, food, uh, shelter, blankets, and whatever, and it was causing us very well, much. Well, I noticed if I can uh, help from the. It, uh, but, but I'm sorry to interrupt, but behind you, it seems that somebody's cleaning up garbage. Is there a lot of trash there? There's a lot of trash because uh, what I was trying to tell you, the 360 grew to 6,200. And that's when it got out of hand. So we uh, got another facility. It's a big concert hall where you can have like 10,000 people on, under a roof. Uh, we send them over here, but it has to be voluntary because the, the people from Human Rights, uh, they have their delegates here too, and they want to treat, have, wanted to treat them too kindly. So the ones who didn't want to go are staying here. So there's like 1,500 people here. There's 2,200 people there, and there's like 2,000 people that we are not accounted for. Unaccounted for, what do you think? So those, basically you have illegal aliens from Honduras in Tijuana. How do you feel about that? Yeah. Well, uh, I've heard that like the Border Patrol has been going up in detentions, like 100, 150 more detentions a day than they're used to. Uh, there was an accident in Freeway 8 that connects uh, San Diego to Calexico. I think there were three Hondurans dead on that accident. There, there were like eight people in, in a pickup truck bed. And so some of them ha have made it across. Not a lot, but some of them. But most of them, uh, some are staying here. They're, they're, the ones that are, are, are outside here on the street, they said because they already started their, their paperwork for getting work permits here in Mexico, they want to stay in Mexico. They know that the, they somebody popped the bubble of their American dream, and they're staying here. Uh, like 200 have been uh, repatriated home uh, voluntarily, and we have deported. Uh, more than 200. There's been like 236 detained by police, and we've sent those to the immigration system. So you, you're dealing with several thousand unwanted immigrants in Tijuana. The United States right now has about 22 million illegal aliens living within our borders. Can you understand, uh -huh. now that you're, you're seeing this firsthand, the frustration of some Americans about that? Yeah, yeah. People here, that uh, the people from Tijuana are frustrated. Uh, if these people came here legally, if they went to our border and they started, you know, a uh, uh, work visa, student visa, or tourist visa, there would be no problem. A lot, a lot of them do that, and they try to work up to, to the border, and they try to, to do their, their paperwork also in, with CBP and, and your authorities to go legally into the United States. A lot of them have families there. Uh, a lot of them have families in Canada. I, I've talked with people from the Canadian Embassy. They have a program that unites family of Mexicans yeah. who are, or, or Hondurans who are working there. And, and they have visas for that. But these guys didn't cross legally into Mexico. They tore down our border no, they didn't. and jumped and they started this caravan. And right now in the state there's like 8,200. It's not a big number so, probably compared to uh, how, what happens in the United States, but if they're well, it's, in the street it's, like this, it's, it's not, a big but I, it's a big I'm sympathetic. Problem. 
So, so finally, how are you going to respond when this happens again? Because this will not likely be the last caravan that comes through Tijuana. Yes, we have a change of president, and uh, this president has a very different mindset from the last president. Uh, this president says, welcome, uh, we're going to give you jobs, we're going to create opportunities for you and things like that, and we're worried. In Tijuana, we're worried uh, yeah. because they're saying that, but they're not helping us. We, don't, we, aren't, we, ha we aren't getting any federal help right now, and we're waiting for that to happen in the, in the next days. The other shelter, this was in charge of, of, of the town of Tijuana. The other shelter, yeah. we're going to turn over to the federal authorities, and they have to take care of it. Well, we feel for you, Mr. Lopez, and I hope you'll come back on and tell, tell us how it's going. Thank you very much. We hope this gets better before it gets worse. I hope so. Thank you. Thanks.